A variety of programs have been created over the years to help reintegrate offenders into society with varying success. But one program based in Lexington is assisting prisoners by letting them reintegrate dogs into people's homes. In this excerpt from the Dogs of Lexington, we take a look at how inmates are rehabilitating shelter dogs and how the dogs are rehabilitating them. We're seeing a lot more no-kill shelters, and I just think uh, organizations such as Second Chance and other no-kill shelters is going to be the wave of the future because people are seeing that, you know, you don't need to go out and buy a pedigree dog. You can rescue a dog that's going to be just as good a friend. I still can't get over it. I'll be bringing a dog in here. I'll be bringing two or three Second Chance dogs in. Uh, our dogs from other rescue organizations and the offenders will meet me up front with the dogs and the dogs will be pulling me and I give them to the guys up front. We take these dogs in and they're just jerking us down here and then, and then two, three weeks later these dogs are walking around this track obediently doing some of this agility equipment. It just still blows my mind that it's the same dog. It's just incredible and I just get a big old kick out of that and then when they find a good home I even get a bigger kick out of that. The positive changes are definitely with the guys in the program. It gives them a responsibility, taking care of something, loving something, because there's not lo much love in a place like a prison. It gives them something that they can show unconditional love for, and the dog shows unconditional love to them. It gives dogs a second chance. You know, a lot of the ones that come from rescue organizations and stuff, they're, some are on death row. Like this one here is from the pound. She got adopted from the pound, and the lady that had her couldn't handle her. So if she ever gets caught out on the streets again by the pound, they'll put her down. So this program, you know, it saves dogs' lives, which is very, very important. As for, as far as I'm concerned, or the guys in the program, it helps us because, you know, we did a lot of wrong when we was out on the streets. A lot of wrong, we took a lot, we just, roguish individuals, a lot of us were. This gives us a chance to give back. And like I said, seeing joy to some of the people that we train the dogs when they come in and see their dog, they sit, you know, let them pet instead of tackling them. The joy that brings that really helps me and I know it helps the others too. So it gives us a lot of joy knowing that we're able to give back positive now. You know, some of us, we made our mistakes and have changed and uh, it's just, it helps us get through day to day. It, it really does. We've both been in this program. Uh, going on six years, right around six years, and uh, it's, it feels empty without the dog. You know, we've become accustomed to uh, sharing the cell with uh, between two and three dogs at a time, and so uh, they're just, they're just, it's regular to have them for us. Up, oh, lazy. Over here, come here. Sit. Shake. Right. High five. <laughs> Come here. I didn't say you were going to say hi. Over here. Sit. Lay down. Up. Oh. <laughs> He's getting all happy for it, huh? Really, every day is a good day with the dog. You know, you got a dog, every day is a good day. It just helped you relieve a lot of stress. Get away from all the madness. You get just as much love back as you put into it. A lot of times more. Uh, this was a rescue dog. We have this dog because they find an owner. It used to get hunted by uh, foxes and uh, wild animals. It's got like some bumps on them from where it got bit. Missing some ribs. Yeah, it's missing ribs. Yeah. She. She's, she's been, been tore up. Lot. She's been through yeah. a lot. But she'll make somebody really good home whenever. Somebody decides to adopt her. That's what we're hoping happens. She gets adopted. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> She's a tiny tear. Go to bed is a real good one. Go to bed. Because a lot of people, especially if they have an indoor dog, if they're doing something like, say, they're cooking in the kitchen or they're trying to do something, they don't want the dog on underfoot, so go to bed is one of the best things I feel that you could even you could teach a dog, and that's perfect in here. We place dogs with children with wheelchairs or disabilities. We've placed dogs, like I said, with the uh, with the therapeutics. We've we've helped do the basic obedience for their training. Uh, 
You know, some of these dogs are on their last legs, so we're, in, in a sense, saving their lives. And, uh, and they're giving us purpose. First of all, of course, before being accepted for this program, they've got to have, you know, promising behavior for the good. And so when they are able to pass that hurdle, then they can come here and now they put themselves into something that is beyond themselves, outside themselves to care for the dog. And they invest themselves in the dog and they get a return on their investment from the dog. The dog takes affection uh, from them and returns the affection to them. So they have something going on relationship, a two-way street here of affection and love and caring for one another. And I think that in itself will uh, sometimes take the hardened heart and, and soften it. <laughs>